I am the Picasso of infrastructure. Ah! Ice cube factory. No, it's never had water. What have you been making them out of? Okay, well, if you're really firefighters, put out this. So as you can probably tell from those clips in this video, I made the worst city in the world. We should start with roads. Uh, so this road isn't even gonna lead there. Actually, if you get off on the wrong exit, if you get off a little early, you're stuck in purgatory forever. And then the actual exit is gonna have a road that goes through all of this, so that way the people in purgatory think there's a way out and just keep driving. Oh, okay, I'm Jeff and I live in a house and I want to survive and have water and power. That's what you sound like. It's a thunderstorm. You've got both. Just set out a pail and fly a kite. Okay, they don't have any water. So here's a few days worth. Blam, drainage pipe, flooded your house. Everyone wins. The city still needs power, but I have a shocking idea. I'm gonna cover all the roads out of the city in active power lines. I hope these families like fast food, because if they try to leave, they're gonna get a large fry. We have to connect them to something. I don't know what though. This guy, <laughs> this guy wants a gun? We're a minute in and they're already going full purge. What the hell is electricity? We haven't looked at financials yet. Okay. This is very bad, actually. Whoa! It's everyone bucket the water! Everyone bucket that! That's the, that's the last drop we're gonna see for a while! I can't afford to power this part of the city. Um, so I, I, we're gonna have to turn this all off. How's my economy? I don't think I understand how jobs work. I'm gonna do what's called stimulating the economy. No water until you work. Uh-oh. Oh, it's cause they're not connected to the outside. And also I'm out of money. Um, and I've had to destroy every house, so I guess they're just living in the woods now? They can't have gotten out because I've created this gauntlet. So I think we, uh, failed to make a city and instead created a feral tribe. Attempt number two, boys. Um, we're gonna leave these guys just banging rocks or whatever. <laughs> This new city shall have fresh water from what I hope is a lake. So we pump the water from right here, and then the sewage uh, for the water or the water waste goes right next to it. Oh, we're trying to foster a sense of community. Get to know your neighbors inside and out. When my cellar flooded, I first thought it's a disaster, but then found out the water was quite warm and nice. Hashtag new swimming pool. Oh, the things we say when we're trapped in a city with a malevolent infrastructure god. Watch it. Hey, we got a little Hamlet. To be or not to be, this is- <laughs> I've unlocked taxes and loans. Well, you could have just said free money. Cha this was actually, in fact, not how loans work. I had to build a hospital and give them some health care. Uh, they were saying my city was just too sick. Unrelated, there's a plague. Pull over! Pull over, you you madman! Pull over! Who taught you how to drive? Oh, right. No one. We don't have the budget for that. I should have figured it was in the bad part of town, which I voluntarily decided to make a bad part of town. This is probably a crime happening. Pull out of the way, you big truck of fuck! I'm coming- oh, It's fine, we'll come back for him and charge him extra. What happened to you? What happened to this guy? Oh, the taxes are too high. Well, then let's take him to the taxidermist. What's going on? Why aren't you feeling well? What's happening here? Make sure garbage trucks can reach the building. Oh, <laughs> that is gonna be a problem. I've sort of uh, quarantined the blue collar workers. No amount of waste management is gonna help now. This is, sh this is Schittsburg. I'm looking at the budget and it does look like um, healthcare is canceled. More like health don't care. It's fine, just eat your broccoli. What even are these factories? Ice cube factory. No, it's never had water. What have you been making them out of? What have you been making? Just signed a petition to build a school. Don't learn. Just believe what I tell you. In accordance with our city's motto, uh, don't get wise or everyone dies. Our new city's name will be Streetsville. Why do they call it that you ask? You were a fool to ask why they call it Streetsville! 
Not a single person lives here. This is why I failed. A lot of cities make this same mistake. They forget to tick the unlimited money mod. Between every single house, there's a bouncy castle, and the culture completely revolves around saying, let's bounce. It's not that funny or clever. It's just the only thing you can do here. And of course, that's fun. They're gonna be bouncing. Guys, it's all a distraction from the three massive nuclear plants I have built about 100 feet away. So as we know, plants need water, right? So let's hit them with one of, um... Yeah! Uh-oh, I think I built the wrong thing. It's flooding. The, the flood walls that I built to keep the citizens from learning about the nuclear-powered bouncy castles have backfired. We can't have anyone find out about this. They're gonna follow the water. We've gotta make this disappear. What's happening now? Sewage is backing up? We are in deep shit. We need either a landfill or an incineration plant. But I'm not gonna do either of those. Instead, I'm gonna open a public library where I teach them to eat shit. Unfortunately, sewage is backing up inside this library. It seems that creating lies around where poop goes has not solved our issue. I don't know what to do, so I'm adding a bunch of police and I'm now enforcing martial law. Here's the good news, guys. The cops are here. They are here. The bad news is um, to, to prevent sewage backup, if, if you are caught shitting, you are going to be sent to prison. I tried so hard with Books Are Shit to provide you with alternate waste disposal methods, but you didn't listen. So if you get caught, you better pinch it off, Buster, because you're getting in, put in the slammer. Healthcare is expensive, so we're buying cemeteries instead. Why are you happy? In a matter of minutes, you will probably be over here. This street is called You Die If You Enter Street. And it's called that because if you step foot on this street, you will be killed and buried by my men. They have special orders. They're gonna say, you've made a grave mistake, and then they'll shoot you in the chest. <laughs> now I'd like to address the rumors of the nuclear power plants. What nuclear power plants? Well, as you can see, citizens, there were never any nuclear power plants. And that's the whole story. The radiation is seeping into the cemeteries. I can't let the citizens find out about the ghouls. This road is Slick Road. That's not actually the name. It's just a warning because there's oil plants everywhere and this is one big fucking slip and slide. All the good places are out of town. How would you even know? In a few generations, no one's gonna know about out of town. My citizens are feeling sick. Well, there's a resource right here waiting to be used. It's called a cemetery. How is the crime rate high? Is it the ghouls? You don't want your kids playing in the street, and that's why instead I've put the playground next to the airport landing strip. Yep, those those turbines are sure gonna blow them away. The other playground we have in town is the one with all the slides. Ooh, a fire station. Yes, 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 yes. We absolutely need one of these. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Oh no, a forest spontaneously grew and then it caught on fire. If only there was someone to help us. This is their first test, guys. Let's see how good these guys really are. Okay, they're doing all right. Makes me wonder how good they'd do if I actually gave the building water. Congratulations, you all passed the first test. There's just one more. That fire department fucking sucked. I put the Liberal Arts Academy across the street from the post office. They're always gonna be arguing about the male agenda. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Oh, don't you worry, we're gonna send that bitch right back into orbit. You think I put these bouncy castles here for no reason? Let's get a volley going with space! Nope, they just keep coming. There, oh, there's another one. <laughs> No bouncing back from this. Let's do a memorial. I'm gonna put this bench here. In loving memory of everyone. I am the Picasso of infrastructure. Ah! <gasps> it's a bison. Bye, son. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> I feel kind of bad, but it's all for the bit, right? <gasps> I'm renaming this dog to Borf. You're no longer a servant. You're a free boy. Now go out there. I'm gonna commit crime. Borf is the greatest dog burglar the world has ever seen. C crime is everywhere. But don't you worry, we have two of the city's finest on it. Officer shoot and officer kill. Let's see what approach they- 
Yeah, I mean, Pierce Holmes, good name. I like to Pierce Holmes with like a, with like a wow. I'm legally changing your name to I can't wait to propose. That's so sweet. I'm sure they'll be so beautiful together. I'm gonna change his girlfriend's name too. I put all this ore storage here because this town rocks. What's going on over here? Ah, uh, yes, of course. My city is here to help you guide your child through every step of their adolescent life elementary school, high school, incinerator. Why playground when you can play street? They're just gonna slide right into the road. Terry Finch, uneducated child, and he doesn't even know how to use a slide, damn it, Terry. And here at Flaming Ring Wings, these sauces are so hot, you'll feel like your mouth is on fire. See? Oh wait, no, I think this was arson. Hey lady, hey lady, come on into the park. Come on, let's go for a walk, you fucking idiot. This is no ordinary park. This is dog park. As the laws of the land command, you are now dog. Mom! Dad! <laughs>